All right guys, today's video we're gonna do a product review, but um, I don't have the product here with me to show you guys right now. I um, actually left them back in Missouri from when I hunted back there. It's the tree hopper strap on tree step. So it's basically the modernized version of the old uh, Ameristep tree step that a lot of people use on a ratchet strap. Um, if you watch my channel for any length of time, you know I'm a huge fan of strap on steps. I've used the Ameristeps. I used a prototype from Odin back before, when they were around before they went out of business before they really started. Um, so I'm a big fan of the strap on step. Obviously I've seen the tree hopper had kind of revamp the Ameristep. So I bought six of those, got those in and hunted with them the whole time I was in Missouri this year. Um, so I liked them. There's some good things, some bad things. And uh, that's what I'm going to show to you right now. So here it is. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the tree hopper step. Obviously, this is the modern version of the tried and true Ameris step that so many people use as a strap-on step now. Um, so we're just gonna kind of compare the two real quick. Uh, we look at, you know, length of the step and width of the step. Width of the step goes to the tree hopper. It is a little wider, but the Ameris step is just a little bit longer. Uh, we look at the back of the steps and you'll notice on the back of the tree hopper here, they added just a little bit of texture to help it grip against the tree. And then we look at the wings up here at the top. We look at the wing size. The wings on the tree hopper are just a little bit longer. I'd say three eighths to maybe a half inch for that. So a little advantage there. It'll help hold the step against the tree and you won't have as much side to side play when you're pushing on it with a side load. One other big feature difference here is the strap slot size. You can see on the tree hopper, it is um, quite a bit thicker or more open, if you will, than on the Ameris step. And the benefit of that is when you look at it on a ratchet strap. So on the ratchet strap closest to the ratchet where it's sewn over, there's two layers here. You can get this tree hopper step now a lot closer. You can get it all the way up against this ratchet. And the benefit of that was um, when you get it all the way up against the ratchet, your next step in sequence would be here. So you're only looking at maybe eight inches of gap versus if you were to look where the first Ameris step would go, which would be this one. This is where the two layers end. Your next step would be here. Now you're looking at like 12 to 13 inches of gap space. So that's real good is that you can get this one uh, so much closer to the ratchet now. So it keeps your step spacing even all the way around. One other feature that they did interesting on these is the wings are actually tapered differently. So this one is a little thicker and rounded out here. This one is thinner and comes to a little bit of a point. And the reason why that is, is you can actually lock these steps together on the strap. So basically what happens is, let me slide this out of the way and I'll just get these two in here so you can see. The pointed one on here will actually slide over the wing of that and you can see it will basically slide in the webbing slot and pinch the webbing in place. So now I can't slide these as a pair on the strap. They're actually uh, wedged together, which is really good obviously for noise. Um, they don't make a whole lot of noise. Obviously if they were separated, you have some noise that they would have. Um, so you can link as many of these together as you want. Just know that once they're linked, you can't slide them on the strap. So typically what I would do, or what I have been doing with these, go ahead and unhook these two, is I run one step all the way up against the ratchet. I run the next two steps as close as I can to that and linked together there. And then what I would do is I would go about a hands width, three and a half, four inches or so, and then I would link the next three steps to go. I always run six on a, a strap. If I don't need them, I can slide them off and drop them to the base of the tree or whatever, but it's always good to have more. Once I had these linked together, I would simply fold this over and I would run this through my ratchet to where it would sit like this basically. And then this is what I would attach my ratchet strap to the back of my saddle and carry it like this. So you can see I would carry basically the flat side against my butt and I would carry this side out. Um, worked pretty well. Obviously they kept them really quiet walking in. Then once I got to the tree, I would just separate each one of these individually as I spaced them out around the tree. 
Overall, for me, they're a, a really interesting step design. They work really well. Um, I use them all this year here in Missouri. Um, the locking feature is interesting. The shape design, I found them pretty comfortable. There was a little bit of noise with these on the muddy steps or on the muck boots, but that could just be that the muck boots creating the noise. I can't remember if they created noise on the Amer steps or not. Uh, the one issue that I will say I'm slightly concerned about with them, um, it'll change a little bit depending on what I hear, uh, but I do have a step here and you can see the wing is broken off of this step. So this step was used five times before this broke off. Uh, it was taking side pressure, so it was being pushed against this way against the tree and pop this whole bottom corner off. Now that is the thinner uh, side of the wing that typically locks in, but I'm a little concerned about the type of material or uh, you know, just the integrity of what was used here. Was this a bad step? Was it a bad batch? I know that this step was purchased about 15 minutes after I bought my steps, so I have to assume that my steps came from the same batch as this one. Uh, so I'm a little concerned. It's going to be interesting to see what the company says. I know they said they had a possible bad batch go out in sometime in September and they wanted to look at this step to see if it was part of that. Uh, interesting thing for me, I looked over these steps. There is no um, code, there's no date, there's no way to know what batch of steps this particular one came from. Uh, so it's kind of a concern for me on how these things are manufactured. How would they do a recall or how would they know who got sent what steps? Um, so a little bit of a concern for me on that. It's going to be interesting to see what the company says or what the company does. Um, are they obviously going to replace this step? Are they going to replace the whole order? Um, and then, like I said, what are they going to do with me? My order was placed uh, either 15 minutes before or 15 minutes after this step was ordered. So makes me wonder about mine. Um, is it just a minor fluke because it is the thinner section of the wing? Uh, given there is a lot of meat here, I don't necessarily know that this is going to break. Um, but I really don't know. It's really kind of concerning to me. It's my biggest issue with these steps is seeing one broke, obviously, firsthand in my hand. Um, really concerned. It wasn't overly cold. I think it was 30, 32, um, so right around freezing, not overly cold uh, when this step broke. Again, only used five times is a real issue. So longevity of these steps, I don't know, especially in colder weather or in... Uh, being exposed to UV rays for a long period of time. I really don't know. But for me, it's just kind of uh, something to note. Wanted to let you guys see it, um, and I'll keep you guys updated what the company does in the description down below. All right, guys, so that's it for the tree hopper video. Um, I just kind of wanted to back up and touch a little bit on the busted step. The step uh, contacted tree hopper. I didn't, the person who had the broken step. Contacted tree hopper. Took them a little bit to get back to them. They ended up sending this step to tree hopper where basically they sliced and diced the step looking for any type of air bubbles in it um, any type of uh, porous looking material in there to determine kind of the structural integrity of the step uh, like i said i bought mine either the same time the day after sometime right around in there and again there's no stamp to say hey these were manufactured on this date or this is the manufactured lot so i was kind of interested to see what they found out from that um but I wanted to read you guys a um, kind of an excerpt from the email and kind of give you guys an idea of what they said. Um, basically, they talked about the curvature and due to the wings, right? The wings are so wide, the curvature it can cause breakage. Um, obviously, you have a three and a half inch flat surface. It's going to be hard to find a tree that doesn't curve, especially on smaller diameter trees. Um, but one thing they said was that... Uh, the over the center buckle can impart tremendously. Look, I don't use over the center buckles, personal preference, I hate them. Um, they can impart tremendous force on the step and if the radius of the tree is small and there's a gap between the wing and the bark due to the curvature of the tree, a failure is likely. Um, that's really not something I would put out there as a company that failure is likely. Uh, I would try to fix that problem as best I could. Um, basically, they were just saying to uh, please try to place the step so the wings are interfacing with the bark as you tighten the over the center buckle and you shouldn't have any further issues. We're sending your replacement step uh, for the one that was damaged. So obviously they've replaced it. Um, you know, to me, it's a, it's going to be a prone to a failure area. Is that that big of a deal? No, I've seen a lot of people just go ahead and cut the wings off because they're so used to the Ameri steps. 
The wings help because they give a lot of um, stability when you put side to side pressure on them. Uh, what's going to be the, the longevity of this product over time? I think time is still not on their side for this. I think over time you're going to see a lot more of these break. Um, I don't know necessarily know that this is the first documented case of one of them breaking, but um, obviously yeah, I had it in hand, looked at it. Um, I didn't have any issues with mine. Um, mine was either ordered like the order before or the order after this order. Um, so who knows? Uh, I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in on that part of it. Um, so that's it for today's video. If you guys like today's video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and already. I'm probably going to try to put out some more videos a little bit more than I have been the past few years. I'm um, probably going to do a channel update video as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any comments, leave them in the question or questions. Leave them in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Try to answer all the comments down there as best as possible. Kind of help you guys make decisions on whether you're going to buy a product or you have any questions on it, things like that. So Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.